welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Last time we did a dungeon, we did a trial, we defeated... Well, an enemy. Uh, we defeated Vilagamarga. Vilagamarga. Now some continue with the feet of ice. Bankrid would suggest sharing the news of your victory. The you know, must still be anxious, wondering where and when Vilagamarga will strike next. I suggest we hurry back and I'll, I'll, I'll lay their fears. Alpha nodes as, as well, I should think. Yes, you're right. We shouldn't let them worry another moment. Off they go. Alright, let's just take a nice good old teleport. What kind of minion is now is that? It's a bear? I think it's a bear. Armor still looks good. Weapon is probably the one I'll worry about the most, and that one's good. It's all right, let's go. I see Master Alphanode hath made good use of time to further tend to the wounded. While we were c uh, contending with that screeching menace, I expect Baku Jaja was off to the next feat. I missed the chaos of the Sky Ruins Awakening. I'd forgotten we still have the feat of ice to complete. I thought the villagers would be hide in hiding. Elfino's confidence in us must have reinsured them. I think if the feat of ice is also you guys, you should just give it to us because we just killed uh, the thing you feared the most. I expected I would be asked to track many things. I expected I would be asked to track many things during the course of our journey, but Villa Gramada was not among them. Welcome back. Not for a moment did I doubt that you'd return safe and sound. And... Scaling a massive mountain, fighting an elector, battling against a legendary monstrosity. Eh, you could say I'm a little tired. Before we do anything else, we should talk to Gerf Gerfler. Yeah, it'd probably be best to tell them. Hey, we uh, killed the thing. It is actually dead. To the temple, then. That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. Man, he is big. Valigarmanda is no more. Yours is a victory worthy of song. Mm. We had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town, but the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. Oh, Bakul Jaja. A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. Oh, that actually makes sense. I hate the, oh. hmm. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? I say just give us the stone, because we killed Villagamara. What more would we test, yeah. Sumurwar? <laughs> they have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jalja, then no one is. Alright, so the Feet of Ice is basically done. That's good. Ah, good, he showed up too. Now, the other one can go away, but... Eh, he might be now getting that humanity. Now last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Oh, so we're moving right now. We have, what is it, two keystones left or one? Then the thing is, is what's the rest of the story going to be about? Finding the City of Gold? That's going to take that long. Ooh, it's a black marble. Oh, wait, no, it's green. Oh, that makes five. Hmm. Only two left to collect. Okay, I was right. It's two. Technically three for us, but still two. Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. 
end for losing Valle Armanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. For them, it's a new age of peace, not worrying about God coming back to kill them. Oh, he's out. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about him now. I don't know if he's actually growing or if he's just... Hmm. I don't know. He's a hard one to read at the moment. Was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Uh, easy there. He might get sick. <laughs> ha. I'll consider it if... It's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. Hmm. All right, they go off. Oh, hey, it's the one who wanted to kill us. Today is a day for unusual visitors. You... woke Lamat, was it not? I doubted you could slay Valikarmanda, but the quiet skies Proclaim your triumph. Had the betrayal been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet, a debt has been incurred, all the same. It will haunt me if I do not repay it. Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. <gasps> oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. Golden dreams. Yes, we have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shaktural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land. Suffused with a golden glow, its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Every building was a palace, and in their midst, Reign a silent goddess, a statue so tall, even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A statue of a goddess. That's new. I and compared to the abstract imagery we'd previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions, compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shaktural, where they died in droves. 
Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps. Who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams. No dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel. But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once our people's withdrawal to Urko Pacha was complete, we never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there. Hallucinations, maybe from like Thank a you for sharing kind of your drug stories or with mineral? Us. Hmm. I do not require gratitude. I merely repaid a debt. Farewell, Wook Lamat. I do not think our paths will cross again. Yeah, maybe in the quarry, there's a mineral, like, if you think of Dune, like the spice, maybe there's like a mineral in the quarry where it makes you dream and hallucinate. But then why is everyone else having the same dream, is my question. So if it's a hallucination and made up, everyone should be dreaming about different things, but no. They're all dreaming about the same thing. So, Yaktel is where the Yakhoi had their golden dreams. We may sooner have the chance to investigate this tale firsthand. With only two keystones remaining, we've at last begun to gain a fuller picture of the legend of the Golden City. What turn of events? We were only meant to strengthen the ice, but Bakul Jaja's idiocy forced us to do them one better. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to talk to Kryl. Oh, well. Oh, whoops. But, oh, oh, okay, my bad. Oh, decline, haha! -ha. I, a heavenly land suffused with a golden glow. Now I can talk to you. I don't think Bopolo and his brethren will have a sudden change of heart about truly old, but that doesn't mean they'll never change at all. Today's proof of that. The promise of peace. Aaronville will propose a course of action. I think it's time we return to Turlial. After scaling Tur Turl's tallest mountain and battling a legendary beast to the death, even dauntless heroes like you could probably use a rest. In any case, there are preparations to be made before we can visit the next destination laid out in the saga. The respite would be most welcome. I, I believe I hear the four for cabins calling our names. I guess so. Farewell. These guys, if I had a guess, are 100% beast tribe. Saying it now. Definitely a beast tribe. Oh, hey, look at that. XP increase. Alright. Well, I hate walking. We all hate walking. Alright. Now I leave. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm playing this the same day. It's like only like 40 minutes, 30 minutes past in between. I got work tomorrow, so I'm trying to play as much as possible, because usually I don't play much on work days. 
Bum, bum, bum. Yep, I'll do that later. Those are roll quests. I'll have to get a roll up to level 100 and do that. All right. Hey, everybody, I'm here. There's still two feats left to go. We want to face them refreshed and ready for action. Alpha Node's being absorbed by Rothgar. Uh, I won't say no to clean sheets and soft pillow. No sooner did we set foot back in Trulio than I feel a weight of recent events set in all at once. I'm definitely due for a long nap. I, I'll take the opportunity to think on some things. Well, everyone, we can meet back here later on. Off everyone goes. I have a small air in the run of the city, so I'll leave you to recover. Will you be heading back to the palace, Wuklamont? Wuklamont, did you hear me? Lost in your own world, it seems. Well, no matter. I'll be back soon enough. Let me guess. I gotta talk to her. An attendant is standing by to unlock your cabin. Enjoy your stay. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. You keep thinking. I'm leaving. Sage is doing sage things. Wow, who is this person in front of my cabin? You better move it or lose it. Uh, hello? Oh, who are these people? Why are they at my cabin? Welcome back, Master Torgood. Your cabin is just as you left it, minus a light layer of dust. Is this one of those moments where I have a conversation with my companions in my room? I tend to have those a lot. What do you want? You have a moment? Not really, I want to sleep. Oh, okay, just help yourself in. Okay. I guess I do have a moment now. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Can't wait till the morning. So, I, uh... Yes. <laughs> this is what you want. Uh oh. It's just too stuffy in here, that's what. You're the one who invited yourself in. We should in. go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. I just got in here. You're the one who came in. drag you away from your nice, comfortable cabin by feel the walls closing in. Oh, I know. I'll take you to one of my favorite places in Tulio. That should help me get my thoughts in order. We'll go to replenish resplendent quarter and make our way uh, out from there. Okay. What's wrong with you mentally? Yeah, I gotta level up some other classes before I can do that. Right now, I'll have a healer and a d uh, tank. I'll have to do a DPS, though. Who's there? I swear, if it's her coming on to me, this is gonna get weird. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello, dear. You're one of Wakalamut's friends. Yes. Oh, look at the father. Yeshua. What are you doing up and about? Is your back feeling better? It's much healed now, so don't make a fuss. Besides, I can't be lounging in bed all day when you're out there fighting your hardest to win the throne. 
You're the claimant with the greatest love for peace. I just hear the child giggling. I love the nation of ours, and lending you my support is the least I can do. When I see you smile like that, how can I not be encouraged? Oh, ho, ho. there's plenty more who believe in your cause. I can recruit a whole battalion of smiling faces if you think uh, it'll help. Yours alone is more than enough. Thank you, Pashi Pashiwa. And thank you, Third Promise. I shall pray for your success in the contest. All those smiling faces. Hi, I'm here. It's me, the guy who we pulled out of bed. Oh, sorry, Bader, I'm getting distracted. It's just that with the progress we've made in the contest, even these everyday encounters feel much more special. Do you think we... Do you think we could take our time and maybe wander around a little first? Then we can head to the spa, I was thinking of. Well, it's a really nice view. This is much better. I don't know, I think I'd rather be in bed. In my cabin. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city. And whatever worries I had would seem... So small. Do you remember what I said at the top of Work or Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Well, I've been thinking a lot since then. About what peace really means. If it's just... the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. I'm just waiting for her to have a flashback to a genocide we did or something. It's like, wait, what? I realized nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. Hmm. You know, that is a sort of thing I'd expect you to say. Really, I feel proud somehow. It's an answer I arrived at by trying to be true to myself. That you think I succeeded, it means a lot. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness! You have to scream that? It's just like Kryle said. 
by taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began, but there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. If it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much, and in so short a time. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? I mean, we're almost at the finish line. <laughs> Thank the gods for that. Well, I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace, but I'll see you back at the caverns. She's getting there. Just like what this entire contest is supposed to do is mold the perfect leader. She's getting there. Kona's getting there too. First promise, uh, I think he still has work, and then, <laughs> well, Bakujaja's not in the running. Hey, I'm actually sleeping finally, in my bed. Alone. And quiet. Much needed nap. Let's do this. Man, I hear this theme so much because I spent so long at my glamour dresser. All right. I think the lull in the story is over because I think that's the small break. Oh yay! Maybe depending on what I'm doing after this, I might do some of these and start doing this a little bit. Hey, Alpha Nerd. How was your nap? You look to be in good spirits. Assume your leisure time was well spent. I was glad to snatch some quality sleep myself. After all, it will soon be back to the road to us. Peaceful intentions. One second, I'm bringing Chad up. Herald of Peace. You know what, maybe I will change my title. I haven't changed it in forever. Could be a bug boy. Imperial nuisance. The end of the, the Oath Keeper. Sky Singer. Annihilator. Mythbreaker. Um, man, I'm not sure. King's Blade. That fits. Alright. Ooh, a six. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it, the weapon is just under. Elfino see. Okay, a leap to Yachtail. Elfino seems eager to review their journeys thus far. 
I'm sure the others will be along shortly. I do hope everyone has rested well. Ooh, it just reached night time. We got that. Sheesh. It's foggy, too. Yep, here comes everybody. Now that we have refreshed ourselves somewhat, let us consider all claimants as they currently stand. Zoral Jean Kona completed every feat thus far and won the five keystones apiece. Waklamat should be equal with them, but Baku Jaja's thievery, which has left us one short. That conniving Braggar didn't so much lift a finger for the feat of proof and wrecked havoc in the feat of ice. He can't have more than three keystones at most. He may think he can simply steal what he needs to win, but he's sorely mistaken. I will be taken back with his mind. This, I swear. Man, that fog rolled in. I fear that reclaiming your keystone may not be enough. This is, if Baku Jaja's unleashing of Vilgamande is any indication. Using his lead, I anticipate that he will move to obtain the remaining keystones before disrupting his rival at rival's attempts. We might find ourselves being forced to take from one another. I can't say I'd be comfortable with that. But neither will I surrender my claim to the throne so easily. If it's for the sake of preserving the happiness of my people, I'll do what I must. Sounding like a real leader now. Not just peace, but the happiness of their people. The last two keystones we require are those of lay, the Lay of Respite and the Lay of the Brotherhood. Hey, I chose a great title for me then. The former depicts a succession of hostilities between the Mamaja, Mamuja and the Zabral in the forest of Yaktil, specifically near the village called Ikbrox. Ikbrox. That's where I was born, if you recall. I haven't been back there since Papa took me when I was a baby. So maybe memories, we'll see. Where the Lay of the Brotherhood takes place, however, is unclear. And the saga said that a foreign explorer came seeking an audience with the Dawn Servant, but a little more than that. Yorzia has a similar tale. The explorer, Ketoram, befriended a two headed king known as the. Adarim. Ot. Ark. Ot Ark. Ot Ark. Ot Ark. Before commencing his travel across Churl. He journeyed here several times afterwards, but he was ul ultimately lost at sea. At least that's what the co the common commonly here believe. I'll believe. I don't think he disappeared at sea. I think we might find uh, remains of a journal or something of his probably last adventure. But I got a feeling since we're talking about him so much at the beginning and now, I don't think he's dead. Uh, or he might be dead, but he is not at lost. He didn't die lost at sea. Maybe the city of gold. Who knows? The two-headed king certainly sounds like Papa. So this Ketaram fellow must have come to Tulio. Yes, probably. But if he indeed arrived some 80 years ago, the capital may not have been built yet. Vestiges of Yokoi architect notwithstanding. Wait. You said Otterok, didn't you? Then Kitaram must have meant the Dawn Servant in Mamuk. Mamuk? Is that a city? One of the grandest of Turul. Once upon a lifetime, at the seat of the Mamuja's homeland, it too lies in Yaktil, not far from Ikbrox. Then, all things considered, Yaktil seems the obvious choice for our next destination. From here, the safest method, method, uh, method of travel is by dirigible. We should make for the landing once our preparations are complete. We're arriving in one of Kona's balloons? They can't be any worse than ships, can they? It's called turbulence. And air, and wind. It shouldn't be that bad. She's gonna get air sick, isn't she? <laughs> Alright, back to the drawing board. Or back to the grind, I should say. Alright, nope, that's... Ah, here. Oh, yeah. This is gonna... 
They can, we are a sitting target in this, by the way. They can easily puncture our balloons. I expect Baku Jaja to do something. Uh, I'll be fine, just fine. How exciting, the design of Toral dirigibles intrigues me. I must know how they perform compared to the Eorzean airships. For as much as I wish we would ignore him, Baku Jaja is a real threat. We can't afford to let our guard down. Yeah. Especially when we're in an air balloon. Yakpel, where the Yakoi dreamt of the Golden City. Ready to leave when you are. All right. The next flight of Yachtail will be leaving shortly. Passengers are asked to keep their hands, legs, and luggage inside the dirigibles at all times. Right. I was gonna hang myself out and with all my luggage too. Are, are we sure that thing will stay in the air all the way to Yachtail? Are you, are you ready? Bags packed in a... Uh, goodbye, said. There's no going back once we left off. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Not that I'm nervous or anything. I'm just making sure you're not nervous. I mean, I've been in the air a few times. Oh, who am I kidding? My knees won't stop shaking. Hey, will you hold on to my hand? Just until you settle my nerves. Of course. You're the nicest person I've ever met, Bader. I'll try not to crush your hand. There she is. Third promise. Wait just a moment. Oh, Mabalu. Hey, you two. Mabalu and Tobli. Of course, of course. I'll wait as long as you, you need. What are you guys doing here? Sorry uh, to delay you, but we were able to discover the origin of Kryle's earring. Oh, that is some news. Is that so? You said before it gained popularity in Yachtoral as a protective ward for travelers, correct? That's right. We tracked down the elderly merchant to whom first sales are attrib attributed. According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign mage he met at a market some 20 years ago. Little do you know that charming taste of salt would prove to be a commercial triumph. A foreign mage wearing this earring could only be grandfather. The merchant happened to mention which market. Only in Yachtel, to where it seems you are already bound. What luck! Then I shall I shall seek my next clue once we arrive. Is it mere coincidence that brought my grandfather there, or yeah, another discovery I look forward to? Thank you both for coming all this way. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had business also, but coming in with this information is actually really useful. Anything for the third promise, good luck with the rest of the right. Thanks, I won't let you down. I just got aboard this dirigible land, and I'm as good as there. Last call for passengers, a yacht tail. Oh, look, she doesn't have to hold my hand anymore. I really hope she wins. Yachtel will test her mantle, without a doubt. The next Dawn Servant must be willing to bear the full weight of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. Oh, Tobli knows something. Hmm. So I got a feeling there's going to be some dark history we're about to learn. Oh my god, this the is... The fierce Chabral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest. Yachtel. It is beautiful. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named.
It is here, where the Shepral and Mamulja once battled for dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. Welcome to Yaktoro. Yaktel. Also, she gets airsick. That feeling. Man, you get sick of anything that moves. Are you all right? I've never been good with heights. The vegetation is far denser than in Kozumalka. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. A cenote? Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said, and after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. So, don't take a tumble. Hmm. Oh, oh man, what? It was <laughs> one time! Is the Shabral community depicted in the Lay of Repast close by? Aye. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. I swear, I think she's gonna fall. It's gonna be funny. Alright, let's see what the map's looking like now and what the music sounds like. Yep, a completely different area. Mamook! We have to go there one day, and we're going to Ikbrox. Ah, I see none of you brought your umbrellas. What a shame. Did it kill Aaronville to give me the benefit of the doubt, or the benefit of a second chance? Worry now, Crow and I will ensure our promise doesn't wind up at the bottom of one of these cenotes. Cenotes. I can hardly fathom how difficult travel must have been before the second promise introduced dirigibles. Can you imagine having walked all this way? While that journey was delightful, the wind was fair and the vessel hardly rocked at all. With thicker vegetation comes reduced visibility. I advise you to keep someone in sight at all times. And then everyone leaves me. Homo Horizon. At Ahoma. Yakawe Tazoli. Oh, level 94. Makes sense. Alright, we're doing this. It's a flying squirrel. Oh, you. It's dead. Yep. Oh, I see it. It's a current. There we go. Oh, I'll do a dash high to you too. Oh. Oh well. This command did not exist. I think it's wave. I want dash wave. Alright. We're almost there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. Necrosis. I love I can say that. Nope, immediately tuning the crystal. Yeah, I'm just gonna tune it. Always go for the crystal first. Maybe I shouldn't have, but that's a long walk. Skywatcher. Oh, a motorcycle. That thing's tiny. Look at all the carbuncles. Must be a lot of summoners.
immediately check in what the merchant has, because if they have armor, I want it. Let me see, battle gear is ah, it's worse than what I'm wearing. Uh, I am comparison, please. Oh, I, oh, they gave me high quality. Well, that explains it. How about weapons? Yeah, nope, not yet. Okay, so these don't have any upgrades yet for me. I'm only... Ballista? I think that's a ballista. And then I should be getting the weapon coffer. Which, there's only one class. I can open that coffer and actually use the weapon. So I'll open it with... Gunbreaker. Yeah, I hear... Yeah, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good, everyone's accounted for. Ickbrox is up ahead. Let's be on our way. Alright. Oh, yeah, maybe I should hide chat again, eh? Go away, you. Go away now. Just so you know, I shall be I shall be very cross if you push me. I mean, you'd have to get back up here and I can run quite fast. I've fallen into high tide harbor enough times to be a professional diver. There's no way I'd fall into something like this on accident. Mm-hmm. Are all centodes this deep, I wonder? Oh, this is oh, yeah, okay, now that it makes sense. That's a sinkhole. Aaronville. What's so blue about this forest? What's so blue about this forest? You'll see. Aaronville was not exaggerating about the centodes. It would be grueling ordeal to climb out of one. Well, thankfully we may here without incident. Let's not dally any longer. Alright, let's see what this weapon looks like. It's a 663, so it's not 666 or 665. Cry on, what's it look like? Oh wow. Oh wow. Let's compare it. Okay, so you lack my skill speed. Strength is lacking, vitality is lacking one. Crit is lacking by one. Determination, oh wow, it is a dit weapon. But you are... You look really nice. Okay, display gear? Yeah. Hmm. It looks cool. Oh, we're about to get new gear. Dark Mahogany. 663, I am at a 66... Six. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade. Village of the Hunt. Aquamut's attention is divided between the previous sleep centode and Ickbrox. Ready to head on? In. So I should be seeing a lot of Rothgar here if I had to take a guess. Our first test should be finding the Elector. Hopefully our relative tardiness will not reflect poorly upon us. Wait, is that him again? The merchant who bought our wool? The third promise in her retinue, I presume. Nope, never mind. You presume right. I seek the dawn servant's elector. Then come and join us in the Garden of the Stars. At the village center, everyone is waiting for you. Everyone? And who might that be? There's but one way to find out. Come, let's follow him. I... Hmm... Everyone. No. Oh, God, it just hit me. It just hit me. I I wish I was joking. I just... Oh, well, I'll look at after. I think I'm being pushed in the center. Ah, oh, yeah, everyone's here. And by everyone, I mean him. I don't see, uh... Kona. I just remember where my compass is. <laughs> At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. 
If I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Eligarmanda in the first place. Holy cow. You self-serving piece of weaver dung! Do you have any idea how many could have been hurt? <clears throat> now that we are assembled, let us begin. I'm shocked we're letting him walk around and still do My this despite that. My name is Humuruk. As Ibrash Rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Oh, all of us have to be here. Okay. Third promise. If you would please join us. I think this is the first one where everyone had to be present. Hey guys, how you doing? Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. Oh no. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. We're gonna get stuck with Baku Jaja. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Oh, so only two people are walking away as victors. Teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. By destiny, fate, whatever, or luck. So only two people, two elector, and two, uh, two promises are walking away. Twelve forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. Yeah. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. Hmm. Okay, so you said that. I got a feeling she's gonna get stuck with maybe the first promise. Clements, please present your colors. It's not gonna be Kona. I think it's gonna be the first promise. Let's see. He's I have red. red. Mm hmm. <sighs> Blue. Okay. Now, are you red or blue? I think we're red. On separate teams, then. And the rest. Okay. Red. Which means. Oh no, we are teamed up, Akona. Okay. Never Together mind. Together again, as fate would have it. <laughs> Victories as good as ours. Hmm. The other team's gonna cheat. With our claimants thus paired. So, too, is their opposition. <sighs> Not the one head. You want him to beat you up again? Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Mm -hmm. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Shebrol cuisine. Shebrook Pibil. Uh, what? We're cooking. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Um, hmm. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? I hate to say, my culinary skills Indeed. only level 50, guys. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. So the two warmongers are teamed the up together. The we've met on our I journey. Doubt have skill in They've cooking. all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu, 
replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. Yep. What about the Aptoi? So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? Uh huh. But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. He still has future. that little bit of himself he doesn't want to let go. The rules are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Don't steal. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Let the feet of repast begin. Yeah, we got two brutes cooking, and then we have a smart one, and then, well, Wakla Mutton is a lot of things. I've never actually heard of Shibruk Bibil before. It's a light, I wonder. All right, I got a feeling we're going around, ask about the dish, try to learn more about it, and then we'll let these two do their thing. Hmm. But yeah, when he was talking about ushering a future and get rid of traditions and all, these two didn't look happy. They're like, damn it, he's so close, but he's still not there. Do you suppose, suppose the first promise and Bakujaja will wear magic aprons. I dearly hope so. I doubt it. I, only two claimants can receive keystones for this feat. Intimidating, perhaps, but irrelevant. We shall prevail. And you're very uh, optimistic. The second promise will no doubt have thoughts on how best to proceed. Let's us ask for his perspective. I mean, he's the smart one right now. The first promise and Baku Jaja are formidable on the field, but in the kitchen? I think the odds are in my our favor. I consider myself a connoisseur of things tasty and truly. This is the fir first I heard of Zakri Pibli. Oh, yeah, hiccups. God darn it. As much as I would have loved to defeat you in the high stakes culinary battle, I could have, have asked for I couldn't have asked for better allies. Yeah, that would have been funny. It'd be food wars. For the pairings to be thus decided, the stars had lined for us indeed. Yeah, for some reason I didn't think they teamed both of us together, but eh, I guess it makes sense because right now we have the best connection with Kona and how he thinks and everything. And on top of that, our other party members are with him. How fortunate that this feat's unique stipulations have frustrated Bakujaja's attempts to delay us. Yeah, they waited till we are all here because we had to be putting the teams for this. There's him right. That's what he gets for endangering my people and his schemes. Why doesn't he just comp uh, just compete fear fairly? He's plenty strong and obviously has the mind for strategy, twisted though it may be. I never understand him. Putting aside our competition for the moment, allow me to express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a distinct advantage. Immediately puffs her chest out. <laughs> of course we do. Any team I'm on is bound to succeed. Uh, precisely. You mean we have the advantage in numbers, yes? Her face just what? Our competition has a team of six. The two claimants, Sarlja and Bakuljaja's lackeys. 
Whereas we're a team of nine, the three that's three more people who we can mobilize. With the task suitably de delegated, it should be a brisk affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy. We mustn't get be overconfident. Lest we get careless, uh, make a careless mistake that could have been easily avoided. As the dark, uh, darkest dungeon has taught me, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Our first order of business should be determining the recipe of Zab Zabru Zabruk Pibble. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits of the Zabral people. Let us gather here once we have seen what clues this village has to offer. And our group actually has quite a few brains, so we should be good with that. Alpha Node, Yuranje, Kona. The other group's just all brutes. Like, they're all warriors. The Baku Jaja is just a annoying nuisance. Sightseeing log, might as well get it. I'm here. I get a little XP anyways. I should have it here now. Yep, there it is. Oh. There it is. I'll read those later if I feel like it. I don't really do them. Ooh, okay, there's colorful spices. A number of spices, some entirely unfamiliar to you, are nestled in a basket. <laughs> this one's called a chote. We use it to add a bit of color to uh, our most popular cuisine. But the medicinal benefits are significant as well. Aha! Machote is used in it. Understood. The food ain't ready yet, you hear? Oh, uh, whatever, man. I, I'm sorry. I won't talk to you again. Alright. They're doing their thing. The two brainiacs are together. Oh, they're just taking a nap. The studious fellow. The recipe for Zabru Bibil. I wish I could tell you, friend. A dish so delicious it's meant to be shared. Alas, we are forbidden from divulging anything. Orders from Hanamu Rock himself. But your mention but you mentioning it has given me a fierce craving. I only hope there's still a brook to be had in the market. Wink. That's now fit. All right. We opt the car losses and head back to Mamook. This feat is nothing but a fool's errand. You're the fool if, if you think he won't, if he won't tan our hides for leather, if we dare return without enough keystones. Besides, we've taken from the house cat before. How difficult could be a second time? Hi guys, what are you looking at? Salt liquor, mind your own business. Hey, I will lick that salt, it is delicious. Bankrid's over there talking. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Let me talk to you. Oh, someone got in my way, damn it. Alright. Oh yeah, what do you have? Not much I really need. Oh, okay. Dang it, it's my fault because I'm the one not doing it. Cat. Tiat cat. Or quat. I think it's cat. Q-A-T. Cat. Cat. Arianje and Waklavat's over here. Banana peel. An unusually colored banana peel has been neatly arranged on the ground, which appears to be smoking. Oh no, it appears I've gone drop the my Najul, I mean Jitiki banana peel. I could barely see it from the steam issuing from my underground oven. Ha! <laughs> There's nothing like enjoying a tasty banana while you use the leaves in your cooking. Ah. So the leaves are there to basically be the fuel to the fire. There's that red spice that has a medis... I have no idea. Medis okay, so there's a red herb that has medicinal properties they use in the cooking. And on top of that, there's something in the marketplace I just completely forgot the name, but starts with a J. And that's also a necess necessity. A wing. Ooh, 
The one using the cloud of darkness. Okay. Oh, wow. Where are all these people come from? Holy cow. Everyone caught up. Well, then again, everyone's ahead of me, mostly. All right. So I have three pieces of information for you guys. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. What did we discover about the Zebrik Bibli? True to your prediction, the villagers were forbidden from educating us uh, directly. However, many were still preparing it as one might a staple dish. And observing of their techniques, you have the clues enough. A lady blending local herbs and spices was too heavy to describe the ones I didn't recognize. While neither confirming nor denying any relations is a Brook Bibli. But one in particular she attributed call uh, to a common Zabral dishes. A, a chote, yep, that's the one I was talking about. Chote, she called it. And medicinal purposes. I see that Zibral Pipi is indeed a dish of ambicu ambiguous as Elfinode claims. We have confirmed our first ingredient. Meanwhile, I did observe a cook burying bundles wrapped in the leaf of Najul, or banana, in certain lo localities. It would seem the use of sub uh, sub sub subterrain ter subterranean Jesus subterranean ovens is commonplace. I saw the same. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bundles, then, don't you? Oh, they wrap him in the banana peels, and then they smoke him. A brock, without a doubt. Which they sell on the marketplace. I would it be as would be expected of a dish called Zebru PP indeed. Pibble indeed, whatever. I am. So to summarize, this dish is one of a brock flavored with a combination of spices that include a chote and steam underground with najul or banana leaves. Which they left a few of those lying around to be like wink wink. Given our assumptions are correct, we must now learn where and how to proceed to procure our ingredients to Marketplace. As a staple cuisine, its ingredients will be close at hand, which is why I think we're in nice scouted the surrounding forest while you're all exploring the village. Between the local vegetation and wild Ibruk, Ibruk, we should have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. <laughs> Leave it to the Master Gleaner. With that, we should next divvy up our task with some gathered ingredients. Others should make the, ready the kitchen. Uh, I'm getting the ingredients. I can help prepare the kitchen. Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens will doubtless require firewood, and I have some experience in its gatherings. I too shall be glad to volunteer my aid. Then the rest of us will gather ingredients. I can make quick work of the spices and herbs myself. I am happy to uh, lead someone to a suitable Ebruk if they perform their requisite deed, Alizé. As for Noju leaves, I believe I'm capable of acquiring that much on my own. Be warned, you won't find Noju in these parts. They only grow in the Jatiki heartlands, forests far below these. Hmm, such an excursion may be time consuming. Perhaps we ought to try bartering first. This feat encourages our communication with the locals, after all. Lamati, Bader, if you accompany me on my errand. Roger, Dodger. No better way to whet my appetite. Good. Let's be on our task then. So I'm helping with the bartering. Hmm. And here I thought I'd be killing something. All right, let me finish this quest. Come on, let's go get those Naju leaves. The sooner we do it, the sooner we can eat. I now need to know, what do you look like? This chest piece is fine, but I don't like the collar. I'm just gonna equip it. Ah. Yeah, it will be a great warrior set. Right, I'm going to take a quick break here. I'll be back uh, probably in about an hour or two. Sorry about that. Well, some of my friends wanted to play Phasmophobia with me. Let's continue. Kona, history of violence. Kona has the look of a man intent on finding bananas. 
Let us see if there are Najou leaves to be had in town. Perhaps the cook around Jay mentioned might have, might be persuaded to spare us a few. So while I logged back in and all that, I had a chance to look at this chess piece I'm wearing. I really like the feather that hangs down and uh, it also moves. Look at it. it, it like moves. It has physics, I like it. So yeah, I'm a fan of this chess piece the more I look at it. I really am. It, I, I might make this my, if I get the full set, my warrior set, if I ever level that up. Well, not if, when I do, because I will one day. I might see my breath. I've been going up and down the stairs for a bit. Whew. I want some of your bananas. Another grand oven. This must be the cook around Jay was talking about. Yes, I also know of this uh, guy. Hmm, the earth here is indeed fashioned into an oven of sorts. Fascinating. I'm stepping on it. Okay. All right, cheerful cook, do you have something for me? I would gladly pay for it. Oh, hello again. Did you need something? I would like your banana, please. Nah, not you leaves. For purpose other than than Zib Zibrock Pibble, naturally. Unfortunately, I just used up my last. I have to travel to the lower forest for more. Gold Magic, Gold Magic Grove is a source of the finest Naju leaves you'll find, while variants you sometimes see in the city markets can't compare. I see. I hope to avoid such a lengthy venture, but if there's no other way to obtain our ingredient than it's to Jatiki Heartland, we shall go. Allow me to save you the trip. Oh, hello. Traveling there requires you to go through the Tinbeck Traverse, tra traverse, but it has caved in due to the recent storm, I expect. What? But that means we can't get our Nod Nahuli Naju leaves. But we can, can't we? If there are or no other way of procuring them, you wouldn't have spent you would have suspended this feat, or else altered this objective. Uh-huh. Perhaps. Anyways, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. That's very kind of you. Any last minute advice you'd be willing to share? Only to undertake the feat of repast with an empty stomach. You may find Zebrook Pibble. To be delicious, but daunting dish to finish. <laughs> I can't wait. On oh, the rain just began. Adding more to the atmosphere. Still, if there are no leaves here, and we can't travel for more, how are we supposed to gather all our ingredients? Buy them from a merchant? These feats are meant to deepen our understanding of the peoples and cultures of Tuliela. Tuliel. So perhaps there is something about Zebrook Pibble that we have yet to learn. Something of significance other than its recipe or ingredients. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Like, who was the first to make it? Its history? That sort of thing? Um, if it's Yechtel's history you're interested in, you should start with the old war between Zibral and Mamuja, right? These forests have borne witness for centuries of warfare, the evidence of which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of that bloodshed is to know Zibrak Pibble. Pibble. Huh. What does steamed Ibruk? Ib Ibruk, Ibruk, Ibruk. It's Ibruk, not Ibruk. Ibruk. Ibruk have to do with bloodshed. Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing though such a detour may seem, I can think of no other way to approach this feat. In that case, you may wish to visit the site of the settlement ruined by the war. The village of Ilsen Asso. Ilsen Asso. It lies at a short distance to the east. The village of Ilsen Esso. Understood. Thank you for your help. Come on, let's go see this place. 
But yeah, I actually am quite in liking the chest piece, that long feather and all that. I'm becoming a fan of it. So I, I find it cute. Uh, well, not cute. I, I, I like how they're doing the quests. Like, we're not allowed to help you in any way. But we are going to keep, you know, giving you very uh, tips to... Like, we're not going to tell you outright, but we're going to make it... You know, we're going to tell you certain things that you have to piece together. And then when you ask the right question is when we tell you something of importance. Like, oh, you want to know the... Uh, the significance of this dish go here just be careful not to catch necrosis I heard it's nasty wait 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 it just hit me that's the flower enemy for Final Fantasy 9 from the evil forest I think huh Oh. The music. Hmm. Okay, not gonna lie, the music in this jungle is actually really good. It reminds me of Rataka. Let me see, what was it called? It was the Rataka Great Trees or something like that, right? Yeah, the Rataka Great Wood. I'll take you there after so you can hear the theme. It is amazing. Everyone knows there's a, there was a war between the Mamuja, Mamuja and the Zabral. But I have uh, forgotten some of the details. Hmm. My favorite theme for an overworld... Uh, my favorite overworld theme for this expansion so far. This. The village of Ilsan Aso must be further east. Let's continue with haste. For all we know, our competitors may have be on our heels. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, we're doing this. Nope. 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 We're gonna do this. For now, I'll do that. I have a griffin. Oh, he's aggroed. It's a tanuki. No, it's a flying squirrel raccoon. It's actually quite adorable. Oh, no, no, I'm being followed by someone else. Looks like we're all going to the same place. Two griffins, front and back. One's white, one's black. New location discovered. The history of violence. That's a killer piranha right there. Kona? This place feels forgotten by time. I pulled my umbrella out. Nice. Alright. Yeah, these shacks are definitely in disarray. So this is the village of Ilsen So, or what's left of, left of it. It was a place of light and life. My great-grandfather called it home, in fact. Oh, Wokavu! Hey, man, how you doing? Wokavu? I didn't know you were in Yachtel. Man, how you doing? I like you. I was picking up lumber from Ix... Ix Ickbrock, Brack, Ickbrax. When I heard the third promise was on her way to this site of deep historic significance, I immediately saw another opportunity to be a service, and so I followed you here. Man, you are being very helpful. Wakavu is a shipwright who came to our aid during the feat of reeds. A pleasure. You're a member of the third's promise retinue, I presume. Uh, no. For a moment, I suppose I am. My name's Kona. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Acquaintance. Kona. Now that's a good name. A familiar name. Where have I heard... Oh no. Oh no. Kona. As a second promise of Turio? To think I addressed the Dawn Serpent's own son as some common retainer. Such disrespect cannot be excused. Please, take up your gun and... 
Oh, come on, not this again. I take no offense, so please don't dwell on it. Alright, then. I sh I shan't dwell on it. And Rack at least he's consistent. I understand you wish to learn more about Zebrak Pibble. While I'm forbidden by Zabrak's racks to divulge any information regarding inspiration, I shall be happy to share what I know about Yachtel's history. We'd appreciate that. Let's hear it. I need to know more about your people. I mean, it, it, in its most basic sense, the conflict between Zabral and Mamaju, Mamul, Mam, Mamulja, Mamulja was one of land. The Mamulja live in the lower forest, where the thick canopy obscures the sun and the soil is unforgiving to its crops. This drove them to, co to covet the upper forest, the home of the Zabral, and they launched they launched a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. Yet, advantage ever favors higher ground, and the Zabral forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and time again. But as the state of this village would attest, the tide eventually turned. What brought it about? Something you know all too well. Blessed siblings. You must understand, the Mamluja were once people as as much at war with themselves as they were with others. The Habuga, Bun, Bunwen, uh, Bun, Bunwe, and Dapuro each sought to assert dominance over the others, even as they engaged with the Zabral in battle. In an effort to strengthen bonds and discourage in fighting, the Hubego and Bunwa leaders arranged a marriage between their children. However... This political measure altered the course of history in ways no one could ever imagine. It was long believed that partners of different clans would not have children together. But then it happened. A child arrived with shared blood of the Hubigo and the Bunawat, both. A two-headed Mumulja. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess, he grew into a mighty warrior before eventually a sir... A sir serving as the first Atriarch ruler of all three clans. Such qualities would dispose anyone of to leadership, character notwithstanding. Under the Atri 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 Atriarch's rule, the newly united Mamuljia became a force to be feared, and the war soon ca came to a head. I think it's best to see the results firsthand. Let us visit another battlefield. From this that time, and there I shall continue the tale. Let's see if they fought at the lower lands and always lost, and they finally got here and destroyed this village. Ooh, are we about to see like devastated trees and the likes? Oh, I immediately see. Oh yeah. To think a war of many years past still leaves a scar like that on the world. The Cinderfield. Yeah, no, that name, uh, that is a good name. Ooh, by the 12. What happened here? What have Let me guess the fire magics. Oh, yeah. This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja. The Shobrit Cinderfield. Shobrit? Okay. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorquis' departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes, punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. First they sealed Bali Yarmanda at full strength, and now this. 
It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. Who is that? Uh oh. Alright, who are we seeing the echo of now? Oh. The history. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. Holy it is cow. past time he sounds young. you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales, come. We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance? This is the first time we heard the Reddit head of reason actually talk, by the way. You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honor visitor here. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign powers' awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil, and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine. What do you suppose happens then? Ah, uh, they're using Eorzea as a threat and a, a something like a boogeyman for these two to team up. You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front, an alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. Yep, we're a boogeyman that at the moment there is not threat. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? I'd take you for a liar if this thing of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Oh, is the dish a mixture of both of the <laughs> or like... Give us an evening to convince you. Yeah, it, it, I think it's gonna be a dish mixed with like different ingredients of each tribe in a way. 
and that is to help them remember there is an alliance between them in a way yeah who was that was that the explorer guy and so began that legendary banquet One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health, and, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamulja partook of spiced meat, and the Chevrol steamed Najul. Oh, one second. Someone's messaging me. Sorry about that one, my friends was messaging me. There we go. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, yeah, they the fused their dishes together and declared once more. Their flavors, he said would be even better combined. And he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. Which is the dish we're trying to create That's now. Jibruk Pibil, I'd wager. Jibruk Pibil. <laughs> it is a marriage of Shabral and Mamulja cultures. Jibruk. And proof of their newfound cooperation. Hmm. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the dawn servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. It's here to hear his younger self. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. It's somehow so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibrut Bibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. Yeah, who was that man? What's wrong? Hmm. Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. No, I wouldn't have the echo like that. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. The echo does not resonate with those plans. No, no, that was a person who was there. All right. I never imagined our father was an instrument. It was instrumental in bringing the Jacu Pibbles invention, whatever. I hope I have been a, uh, a s sufficient service to the Third Promise. Papa ri really did live up to his words. He traveled on land and learned about our people's myriad cultures, and we're doing the same now. Yeah, he wants to forge and create another ruler that is basically just like him. Okay, so far the outfit's looking all right. The pants are meh, I don't like the stitch lines, but I need to see 
Also, I'm gonna hide the headwear for now. There we go. Okay. But I do like the chest. Oh. Am I about to. G oh, it's gonna give me the food, isn't it? Bananas still weigh heavily upon. Oh, ooh, the sun's coming out. Uh, heavily upon Kono's mind. Waku Evu has given us v valuable insight into the origins of Zebrok Bibble. However, there's still no. We're, we're still no closer to procuring the necess necess necessary Naju leaves, unless. Tell me, was the historic feast commenced in some fashion with a monument, for instance? Indeed, it was. Allow me to show you. Man, so here's the sad thing. All this land was destroyed through all the war that happened for all that time. But here's the bright side. There is vegetation. And it's trying to grow, bring life back to this place. It's trying. Right here, it's barren. But then you look, there's green here. Oh, wow. Oh, geez, that's a... That's a steep pit. Ah, look, see? Vegetation, greenery, it's slowly coming back. So maybe, not a couple years, but maybe 10, 15 more years. Maybe some trees will start growing again, more vegetation. I don't know. All right, done with that. What does Kona want with a monument? Um, well, usually people place things at monuments to pay respects. This is... It's only speculation, but I dare to hope. I know what he's doing. What's something that brought their people together? The dish. The ingredients of the dish there to pay memory. Now I think of Final Fantasy X when I see that, because of everyone's weapons and standard kids. Here it is. Offered up by the two factions, these weapons symbolize their vow that they would never again ra raise arms against each other. Ooh. Since this feat demands a journey through history, I thought it's only logical that a monument like this might steer steer us true. Especially one at the heart of such a significant... Uh, of a significant a battlefield. Lamati, Bader, would you help me search this area for clues? Tell me if anything catches your eye. Sure thing. Mm-hmm. Look here. The soil has been recently overturned. Ah, we're gonna find the meat there. That we're looking for. Well, the bananas, I should say. Ooh, someone buried a box. Ah. Huh. Well, well. I would have been satisfied to find only a hint, but here you, they are. Fresh Naju leaves. <laughs> Hemu Ruck stu Stewing, I'd wager. There's a poetry in hiding them on this battlefield, given that it was a, it was a central of the war they helped end. <laughs> so he planned all this from the start. Only those who are willing to learn of their history and respect and visit the monuments of great significance would they find the leaves. Thank you again, Wakavu. We wouldn't have found these leaves without your help. It was an honor to render assistance. And, with apologies to present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well. Third promise. Ever since I witnessed your performance in the Feet of Reeds, I have been certain that you are the claimant most worthy of leading our nation. All devised solutions to the Hanuhanu's ailing crops, but you alone sought to know their culture and revive in the Ihihana, even if it seemed unrelated to your task. Yeah, even I thought it was just poisoned water or something, jeez. I thought it was like a Malboro, like upstream. It happened before. In my humble opinion, no one cares more for the people of Tilial and what they hold dear. Ooh. Should you again require my historic musings of old shipwright, I am ever at your service. For now, I take my leave. 
Yeah, that probably has to stink for him, though. Yeah, he's not happy. I cannot argue with that. We have what we need. Let us return to Ikbrox. I need the boots, so at least it matches. But yeah. I'm immediately teleporting. That is really far. We don't need to watch me travel for like nine minutes on end. But yeah, I need the... Oh, uh, the, the boots. And then I, the headpiece I'm not worried about. Give me the arms after that. All right. Blue. Oh, yeah, I'll do that later. Hello? You have to wonder whether Wakabu is actually a historian or and not shipwright. I'm glad we were successful. The others should be back soon, I expect. I hope so. Famished. Now we wait. All right. How's everyone doing? Do we have the ingredients? Hmm. How did everyone fare? We got the Na Nahu leaves. I think it's a, a silent J. I think it's Nahu. Nahu leaves. Wakavu came along and helped us find them. Wakavu was here. I would like to say hello. Yes. He gave us an important history lesson. Quite. Mostly about her father ending the war between two tribes, bringing them together with food. And then we combine the dishes to prove that they can be unified for both dishes together. It's better than one dish at all. Something like that. Then that Gulu Jaja brought an end to of brought an end to centuries old of warfare. Surprises me a little, but to achieve set peace through cuisine is something else entirely. I leave it to my old man to find the oddest of solutions. But how about the rest of you? Is our kitchen ready? Everything should be in order. Orange and I made another tour of the village and borrowed the cooking utensils we need, with no mention of what we needed them for, of course. And I am pleased to report that we are stocked with the finest firewood this forest has to offer. Spoken like a true expert, Aaronville and I found Ebruk, our Ebruk, so we should have meat aplenty. It was a spirited creep creature, so much that it its hunter fell down a sento trying to catch it. Oh no. What part of never speak of this to anyone do you not understand? Oh, she just took a swim. <laughs> he loves sharing those details. Wakuma tripped when I told her not to. Alize went for a swim down a pit. I picked a good portion of local herbs with particular attention to the seeds that yield at at choit a coit i'm told our residents at resident astro astrologian divined the appropriate measurements for the seasoning as well i through further inquiry did i determine the ideal balance of spices now it remains is to prepare, prepare the dish itself i presume that at least one among us is versed in the culinary arts not me not me not me not me not me I can hardly claim profound skill, but I've cooked for myself. You can leave the rest to me. Thank God. And you, I hope, as I recall, you are... No! It's lies! No! 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 Oh, my mouth is watering already. Oh no, this is gonna go badly if you're making me cook. Where's the other group, by the way? Where are they? Without further delay, then... Well, we're cooking. We need to cook, Jesse. We need to cook Kryle. Actually, I don't want to cook Kryle. I don't know if she tastes good. 
Oh, and the sun's out. The sun's coming through the trees. All right. Oh no, don't make me do this, please. Oh, it smells so good. Easy there, Wakulman. Good, there is still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Who? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna beat you. We got cooking, man. Quiet, Bakul Jaja. No one cares what you think. Huh. Act tough all you like. Victory will be ours. No, I'm curious how they're gonna do it. It's ready. Apologies for the wait. Tacos? We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. Oh, tacos. <gasps> this looks amazing. Right. Tacos does have a significance. The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jibral. I keep forgetting is Jabral, It is a symbol of Zabral peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. Please be good, please be good, please be good. You take a bite at the taco. Holy cow, it's tiny in his big hands. In taste, texture, and aroma, you have recreated Shibrook Bibil. Admirably. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role. And then Okay, what's the other group gonna do? Because I'm curious how well their your dish is gonna be. to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend them. I got a feeling there's something up their sleeve, like they are gonna win, maybe. I don't know. But there's something with their dish. What is it going to be? All that remains is to partake of your creation. True understanding is gained only through experience. Well, she's happy. Walk gets to eat. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. Ahem. I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Yeah. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil. As you will no doubt agree. Okay, let's see. He's either gonna love it, he's gonna think it's actually okay, or he's gonna hate it. <clears throat> okay, he didn't say anything again, like ours, when he smelt it. Ate it one bite. I see. While your effort looks the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. Oh. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? I... I... Uh-oh. It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! Um... <laughs> don't use that. the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? 
That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history yeah, and don't, heritage. Yeah, don't use that against us. We found oh, the banana. It's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Ooh, you have no idea. Have you used charcoal versus wood on a grill, man? Ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. Oh, oh dear, they're gonna rob us. Maybe. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. Wait, what does he think? Um, I don't know. Uh oh, Kral's sensing something. Oh, his ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. Oh dear. Yeah, he's the main bad guy. Okay. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. This is delicious! The brook is so tender it melts in your mouth, and the way the Najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. Your cat fuzziness this hair comes out in the sunlight. Harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. Ooh, trying to rub it in a little bit. Choke on your harmony. Oh, we're gonna come at heads very soon, especially her brother if Kryle literally come, come. senses what's inside his Finish brain. That too is part of the feat. You don't have to tell me twice. Easy there, she will eat the entire thing. <sighs> that was please. You've got real culinary talent. If you ever tire of adventuring, you can always be my personal chef. We'll see. It was palatable enough, I suppose. To you, who have successfully performed the feat of repast, I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Yeah, if we have one feet left, something is gonna happen. What I don't know. Also, I noticed that the stones actually have a symbol on it. Well, I noticed that I last time, but I never said anything. Hey, Kona. Listen, if I win, I hope you do. Or if Walk doesn't win, I hope you do. Just please think about the people and tradition a little bit more. I'm glad that I... Uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. We can do better than that, surely. He's happy. The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. <gasps> I forgot something important. What's that? Um, was there any shiplock people left? I could really use another helping. I mean, you can eat your other brothers, and, uh... Eh, I don't think you want to eat theirs. It sounds like it wasn't that good. Like, it was decent for what it was, but it lacked, um... A few things. 
I'm, let me guess, I'm getting shibit pp uh, uh, pibble, uh, pibble as uh, uh, my item. We need to start considering how to reclaim the keystone from Baku Jaja. I'm relieved that our dish was well received. I have the hiccups now, god darn it. Depriving the first promise of a keystone is a crucial victory indeed. Our feet, our final feet. Ow. Okay, I think I'm good. Our final feet remains. After this one, I hardly know what the. Darn it. I think I'm good. All right, I'm good. God darn it. It's anytime I start talking, I really start hiccuping. Okay. Ah! Okay, now I think I got rid of them. Whew, that was so good. I'm already looking forward to having Shibut PP again. Here, Bear, Crowl. Here, ba oh, sorry. Here, Bear, Crowl made more using leftover ingredients. You'll love it. I'm thinking to buy more for the road myself. Now that the feat of repast is over, the villager should be able to offer to us, right? Ah, okay, so I do get Shibut PP. Can be used 10 times and. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I was hoping to get armor. Uh, new wares are available. Okay. Ah, feet. Perfect. The next feet. Oh, wait. A father's grief. Hmm. No, I don't think it has anything to do about Galu. I think this is something like with the final feet. The next feat awaits. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? No. I think this one's gone long enough. We did it. We got the ingredients. We cooked. We learned more about the war between the two different tribes. The two different races. The damage it's done and how they came together. And honestly, I'm still enjoying the story. Oh, man. Man, I hate to see the time. Yeah, that time tells me I got work tomorrow. Damn. Because I like to keep to a schedule. I lay down at 7, pass out around 7, 8.30-ish. Yeah, but... I would play more, but the time does not permit me to do so. Or if I start, I want to keep playing. For I'm enjoying what I'm experiencing right now. I really am. I am not eating you right now. I'm going to sort my inventory. There we go. At least that mess is taken care of. I might sell... Nah, eh, we'll see. But I'm gonna call here, and next time we will do A Father's Grief from Alpha Node. Well, until then... I'll see you next time. And bye.